April 11, 1940. The Norwegian campaign has officially begun and German air, land, and sea forces have begun pouring into the country. Command doesn't believe that the Allies will put up much of a resistance, however they do believe that the offensive could be slowed down if the British get the upper hand in the North Sea. We've been tasked with escorting a troop ship carrying vital supplies and infantry for the offensive. Joining us are two destroyers and the mission is simple. Ride out ahead of the convoy and using our hydrophone, locate any potential threats to the convoy and eliminate them before they can have a chance to strike. This escort mission comes all the way down from top brass and I've been told that my crew and I have been specifically requested to transport. Naturally I haven't told this to my crew as I don't want their heads to get too big. Unlike our usual patrols, this one will be increasingly more dangerous as we are to hunt out both British troop transports as well as British warships. Should we locate any Royal Naval ships, we are to immediately engage and sink them before they have a chance to strike our forces. This will be our most difficult mission since Scapa Flow and will test my crew and their abilities to the fullest. However, I have no doubt in my mind that they will achieve victory in the North Sea. Hey everybody, how you guys doing? My name is Crazy Jester and welcome back to another episode of U-Boats and the Norwegian Offensive has officially begun and we are tasked, as you heard, with escorting this troop carrier ship directly behind us along with these two destroyers to the port of Bergen and along the way we are going to have to break away from this group actually and start gaining some traction and distance in order to allow them to get to the port of Bergen, but we need to search out any potential threats in the North Sea here and eliminate them before they have a chance to engage, preferably before they have a chance to engage. We do have two, uh, as you can see, two destroyers with us. However, it's better if we could just try and eliminate any of the threats before these guys even have to do anything. They should just be able to transport and not even have to fire their guns once. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get a course directly. We're just going to follow the line that they're going. However, we are going to increase our speed. Time compression by 140, and I'd say once we get a good few clicks out from them, we're going to start going under periscope depth, using the hydrophone, and seeing what, if anything, is nearby. I, I can't imagine we're going to have any problems around here. I think it's going to be more so once we get closer to Norway. Maybe around AN5, but the uh, northeastern corner of AN5 is when we'll really have to start worrying. So what I'm going to do right now is just kind of uh, head out. As you can see, it is a very stormy day out today in the North Sea. But we're just going to kind of maintain our distance with the convoy, get ahead, and as soon as we get closer to Norway, we will be right back and hopefully engaging some British naval warships. Stay tuned, all right? All right, so we are right along the area where we might actually start encountering some enemy shipping. So let's go ahead and do another repeat. Go down, drop down periscope depth, please. Get our hydrophone up. Drop down engines to forward one. We've already done that. Let's see if we're uh, getting closer to anything. But yeah, nothing as it stands right now. So we're just continuing to push forward towards the Port of Bergen. Hopefully. We can get these guys here without any uh, any problems, but we just gotta wait and see. We'll do our next check once we reach right around AN28, just before AN25, right around this area, I'll do another check. Mission complete, well there we go. Perfect. That was a lot easier than I uh, anticipated, but they are in. Now all we need to do is go ahead and we're going to start hunting. Several widely separated smoke clouds in Naval Square AF-768 suspect convoy northeastern course. Sending bearing signals. This message is followed by bearing signals. We can track the source as long as the transmission stays active. Perfect. And that's our group. Our boys are already in uh, Norway ready to rock and roll. Take the fight to the Allies. We are going to go ahead and start heading towards the U-1006 then. Well, this isn't good. As we are pursuing the U-1006, who is currently chasing merchant ships, we have an aircraft ready to rock and roll on us. We need to go ahead and get to the flak gun immediately, please. As soon as it comes in for the kill, though, we have HE ready to rock and roll, and here it comes. 
H E ready to rock. Come on, you son of a bitch. Depth charges away. That is fine. Get it out of here. It's hurting as is, though. That HE is finally getting to it. Hopefully it looks like it's almost going down, doesn't it? Yes, go down. Beautiful. Rescue. There are four survivors inside the aircraft. What do you want to do? Rescue them and take them aboard. All officers. Absolutely. Confirm. You are now prisoners of war. We now head out towards the U-1006 again. Go ahead and get this guy off. Go ahead and take a nap, sir. Okay, we have finally caught up with the U-1006, and we have found the group that it is actually pursuing. It's a small group, 6 to 13, but that's actually, I mean, again, that's a pretty damn good-sized group right there. Heading northeast in the Norwegian Sea right now, so this is definitely who he's been trying to intercept. But now that we know the relative course, we are going to go full speed, forward 5. And we're going to try and catch up to him. Hopefully we can catch up to him and we will be right back. Oh, and here we go. We have contact. And it looks like these two bloody idiots just ran into each other. But we have contact with the British Navy as it stands. This is going to be amazing. Let's go ahead and increase a little bit. Go forward three. Start getting these guys into our sights. Alright, so it's not as large of a group as it had originally stated that it was, but that's okay. We can still get a relative course for these guys. Go ahead and forward 12 again. Mark the second point. Let's intercept these two points. Let's see what we're dealing with with a rough relative course of this group. That'll allow us now to start getting into a Pretty good position. Let's go ahead and go forward one, which we already are. Line up a little better and try and get within one kilometer. Alright, so as it stands, we need to start setting up an attack plan here then. I'd say one torpedo each is going to be enough, so we can try and launch four torpedoes simultaneously to hit these targets. Uh, that's going to be phenomenal. Alright, well let's start getting down the basics, shall we? Empire Bell, it sure looks like it. Velocity, of course, is going to be the biggest thing. I wonder... I mean, we'll see if it's still 7, but... Being more so of a war patrol trying to get to the Norwegian front quickly, I wouldn't be surprised if they're going a, a tad faster than usual. Ready, and stop, set, 7 knots, no, they're... They are going the course. They're going the speed that I figured they would be, I guess, then. Course relative, 93. You know, we can set that at around 92. That'd be appropriate. Again, since we did a rough ballpark estimate here. And a distance as it stands right now from us, we're going to call it 1,200 meters. Once it is where we need it to be. All right. We've got that ready to rock and roll. I need you guys to start performing maintenance on all of these. Go ahead and unlock from him. Start getting our next target going. I wouldn't mind, again, taking out these, though. These big destroyers could be nice, juicy targets. But I think what we need to focus on is at least knocking out the troop carriers first. That'll be more important. We can deal with all these uh, destroyers afterwards. It's going to be... We're going to take a bit of a shellacking, I'm sure, but that's okay. Alright, we are lying in wait now, getting ready for the attack. We need these guys to get a little closer before we can send the torpedoes its way. More so, we got to probably wait until this tribal class destroyer is directly in front of us. 
and that'll allow us to get the torpedoes through without striking him. So we'll send the torpedo at the first Empire Sky, and then the Empire Grey, and then lastly the Empire Nerissa. And hopefully we can get some simultaneous strikes going here, and we will have to worry about the tribal class, definitely. But we have some decoys on board, so the plan of action is as soon as uh, we launch these torpedoes, we can start diving down. Once they know we're here, we're going to deploy, I'm thinking, one, maybe two decoys, and then we're going to go right to the bottom. Depending on how... Oh, we're not going right to the bottom. I take that back. 1,200 meters. We're just going to go... We'll probably go about 120 meters, and then we're just going to remain silent. All right, I think it's time for our attack to get underway here. So let's go ahead and get an updated distance for our first target here, shall we? Set 1.4 kilometers. We got a course relative now, maybe maybe 110 degrees. Go ahead and load tube to one. It already is. Fire. Load tube to unlock. That is a way. Let's find target number two. Hello. All right. Distance we're looking at roughly 1.5, a course of roughly 49. Go ahead and fire. O2-3 unlock. Here's target number three. Go ahead and get a distance. A new course updated. 37.5. Go ahead and fire. Alright, so all torpedoes away. Load to four. Lock onto this guy. I'm going to say he's going to be about 650 meters away. Next course of right around 92.5. And let's see how these torpedoes are tracking. Torpedo number one is actually looking pretty good. So is number two here, actually. Number three is questionable. I think we're going to get hit on number one, which means we need to send the torpedo for the destroyer. This is definitely going to be a hit. Come on. Break the back. Oh my goodness, it sheared off the whole front of the bloody ship. Oh my goodness. We're going to get a hit on number two here. Yes. Oh my goodness. Number three. Oh my gosh. And lastly, the destroyer. Oh my goodness. Yes! Could you ask for anything better? First one is down, completely sunk, sheared off the front. He's taking on serious damage. These two are taking on a lot of water. What an incredible attack. Oh my goodness. It looks like this is going under. It definitely looks like it's going under. He took on a lot of water, but he's sustaining. You know, we're celebrating too much right now. We need to... What am I doing? Drop down 100 meters, please. We've got another one sinking. Confirmed. There it is. Target number two, Empire Grey, is going down. We have lifeboats coming out on target number three here. Okay, okay. Gesture, keep it together, keep it together. Forward one. And what we need to do, actually, is we need to leave position and we need to go set a decoy. Climb down. Come on, come on, come on. Quick, 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 quick. Pick up a decoy and go uh, get that out. Decoy. Transfer two. Exit. Get over here. Decoy it. And there's your confirmation is the little bubbles that you hear. That's what you want to listen for. And we have numerous lifeboats coming out from the destroyer that we struck. The last Empire, Nerissa, here is completely stopped. You know, we're going to get close to these lifeboats. What's our current depth? 60 meters and dropping. We have the decoy out, which is great. 
We have numerous lifeboats out from this tribal class, but it is... Okay, there we go. It's officially stopped now. Depth charges, depth charges. Go ahead and... Hard left, hard left. It looks like they've fallen for the decoy, but we are so close that I, I just can't confirm that yet. I think we're lucking out, and they might have fallen for that, that decoy. We're definitely lucking out on that. I can't see anything right now because I took my hydrophone out. So we're just going to wait right now. We're going to go forward 12. I'm compression 12, excuse me. So we're going to stop engines completely, and we're just going to wait it out now. I think they fell for the sonar. Okay, we have been hanging out for, gosh, roughly 30 minutes in game time. And as you can see, the destroyers are still doing little patrols around the area. They're still scanning for us. It looks like the destroyer that we struck is actually dead in the water. We're going to go ahead and go do periscope depth right now. We're almost out of air supply, so we need to really hurry this up and hopefully find that these destroyers have left. Surface the boat, knock this guy out. While we're at it, let's go ahead and get a radio man on board. Here, there we go. Get these values sent off to the BDU. There we go. Perfect. And it's almost night, so let's go ahead and raise periscope if we can and get a look of our surroundings. And there is off in the distance. It looks like they're still doing patrols here. So we've got to watch it. We've really got to watch it. They're not gone. Oh my goodness, they are not gone at all. No, that's the one that we struck. There we go. Here's the one that we struck, dead in the water. I don't think there's anybody on board. I feel comfortable saying that they're all far enough away that we can actually surface the boat. So we're going to surface the boat right now. Off in the distance, but heading away. We simultaneously knocked out three cargo ships and a destroyer with four torpedoes. I have to say that... Oh, there he is, right there. That was absolutely impressive. Let's go ahead and get our guys on the deck gun really quick. Finish off this guy. I am absolutely stoked at how successful and how well that strike went. Good bloody work on everybody. A little time compression here to get these guys going. There we go. Let's get some AP loaded if we can. Let's get this destroyer down. Smoke over the horizon detected, so we gotta hurry up here. Get a couple shells off into the side here. And there it goes. It just needed a little help. Perfect. That is officially going down then. Let's go ahead and get over to these boats and see how many more survivors we can take on. Alright. All the lifeboats. They're just sailors right now. Any officers, though, we will gladly take. Not seeing any over here. Let's go ahead and move on over to the next portion of lifeboats. There we go. Here are some officers. Mr. Cole and Mr. Walker. Especially POWs. Alright. Perfect. Look at that. Last but not least, let's go ahead and get that last tribal class confirmed sink out of the way oh my goodness that was that was incredible that was a very very good mission right there knocked out the, the the simultaneous attacks i mean i could watch that all day long that was just absolutely gorgeous honestly i, I mean i gotta say for the first uh assault for the Norwegian offensive, I think we did an incredible job. I think my crew did an incredible job. So the only thing that is left to do right now is get these guys back home, re-kit out this U-boat, and see what the next mission is for the Norwegian offensive. Uh, I i can't say enough good things. This has been incredible. Let's get these guys back home, shall we? Friday, April 19th, 1940, back at the port of Wilhelm Haven. We are ready to rock and roll. Finally get home, go see our wives, go see the children, families. Here we go, U-Boat War Badge for our new crew members. Welcome aboard, guys. Congratulations on your new awards. Campaign objective has progressed to the next phase. 
Well done, Skipper. Your mission to support the invasion of Norway was a success. Your skill and bravery as a U-boat captain allowed you to intercept Royal Navy warships and troop ships, hindering their efforts to recapture the major Norwegian ports. The captains of the surface warships speak highly of your cooperation and providing escort duty, and your efforts were an important part of the success of the invasion. The U-Boat Command is proud of your achievements and looks forward to your continued success on the ongoing war effort. Keep up the excellent work. Well, it wasn't me, it was my crew. They were the ones that did all of it. Without them, I couldn't have done anything. And we've got some level ups for our crew that I gotta work on. Oh my goodness, you have survivors on your ship. We sure do. Let's go ahead and get those guys off right now if we can. I brought survivors. Oh my goodness, free. All those survivors, get that money. And then we are going to be looking at the next portion of the Norwegian offensive. Woo! That was that was incredible. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, while we are here in the Port of Wilhelmshaven resupplying our U-boat, I think that is going to do it for this episode. But I can't thank you all enough for the continued support and all the advice that you guys have given me on the uh, prior two U-boat videos. It was incredibly helpful, and I am going to be implementing what has been said, so I can't thank you guys enough. But in the meantime, if you guys have enjoyed this episode, please comment down below. Love everything that you guys say, and love talking to you guys, so comment down below, let me know what you guys think or what you would like to see in the future. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. It helps me out, helps the channel out, and more importantly, helps get this video out so hundreds more can see it. And likewise, if you are new to the channel and you liked this series, you like this episode and like what you're seeing and want to see more on this series and other video games coming out, please consider subscribing. Working on getting more videos out every week for you guys. Starts at one, but I'm trying to get up to two to three. That's the plan going forward. Until then, I am going to get back at it, start working on the next video and continue this Norwegian offensive. I think it's going to be pretty exciting, but until then... I hope you all have an incredible day. Take it easy, okay?